Shalom, 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 Shalom. This is Amar Wan from the Lions. Thank you for your Allah. All right, coming at you guys for another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Akwa Fium, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His Son in their holy proper two names. And I want to say, Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Ha Rakak Wadash Ma'amaf, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutation to the Akim that's pushing this truth around the four corners of the earth. Also, shout out one to the hope for your let. And a double honors to my elder as well. All right. So I just want to go into a few scriptures, man. Uh, small prompt to just, you know, dealing with how people not mindful of the Lord. All right. Uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right. Our people are hard-headed and stiff-necked. And they don't want to take heed to the Lord's instruction that he's providing. All right. They're not, they're not looking for that stressed out hand that's still out. You know, but the Lord has that opportunity that's given for our people to repent. You know, our people still stuck in their ways and want to fall out to their lust. And with that, they're going to be destroyed in their wickedness, man. But the scriptures tells us, though, you know, it's a pleasing it's, it's a pleasing thing unto the Lord when a man turn from his wickedness and return it back to the Lord, man. All right. So uh, I'm just going to go into a few scriptures. Uh, the first one I'm going to is Second Peter 3. Verse 9, it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to, to us, work, and not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, man, because hey, it's still time to come back to the Lord. The scripture says, Seek him while he is near. You know, we're in that time of grace period, but when that grace period is up, it's going to be all hell. It's going to be breaking loose in that time, you know what I'm saying? And. You ain't going to be able to get yourself right, man. All right. All right. So that scripture says, uh, is long, he says, but it's long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but, but that all should come to repentance. Verse 10 says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, man. Come, man that, that, that day is definitely going to come in the underwears, man. You're not going to know whence the Lord's going to come back, man. All right, so it's best to get back right with him now, all right, while the time is near. Uh, so let me go to uh, Isaiah 17 and 10. But this was going on with our people, man. Verse uh, 10 says, Because thou hast forgotten the God of thy salvation and hast not been mindful of the rock of thy strength, therefore shalt thou plant pleasant plants and sh shalt set it with strange slips, man. You know, so our people that's forsaken in the Lord and rejecting this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know, more importantly, rejecting the Lord, all right, they're, they're, they're rock of salvation, all right, their chief cornerstone, all right, they're going to have a miserable time in these latter times, man, all right, and then also, they're not going to be able to flourish when they put their hands to anything, man, especially when they go to make it, uh, you know, want to grow, uh, any type of thing, you know, as the scriptures say, verse 11 says, In that day shalt thou make thy plant to grow, and in the morning shalt thou make thy seed to, to flourish. But the harvest shall not shall be a heap in the day of grief and of desperate of sorrow. So it's going to be tough for a lot of our people in, the, in these times to come. All right. Our people are not going to be able to flourish like they are flourishing. You know what I'm saying? Like they're moving right now, man. And we're in the time of famine, we're in the times of prophecy, all right, we're in the times of the Lord, all right, judgments, man. So you got to be mindful of these things, man, and and not just be wilding, wilding out there, you know what I'm saying, and not giving a care, you know what I'm saying, because, hey, like the scripture said, the, the, the Lord is, the day of the Lord comes like a thief in the night, man, all right. So let me go to uh, well, Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 10. It says, but, miser but miserable are they in, in the end in dead things is their hope, man. Because our people are hoping in this system. They're hoping in this world. They're hoping to gain. All right. And the scripture says uh, our people think gain is godliness, man. And it's not. That's not. That's not true. All right. 
Because what godliness is, is, is serving the Lord with truth and sincerity. All right? Being a saint, doing the work of an evangelist, man. All right? Blowing that trumpet, showing his people, all right, their transgressions, man. All right? Sparing not, you know? But, again, it says, Miserable are they and, and dead things is their hope. Who called them gods, which are the works of men's hands, you know, gold and silver. All right. And that's what our people are coveting after. The scripture says those uh it says uh those who watch for riches consume with the flesh, man. Our people are dead while they living. All right, chasing nothing that bad. That's not no good for them, man. It's not but fake fiat currency, man. All right, so our people still in the killing over it, over it, all right, not knowing it's not but vanity, man. But it's going to be a miserable time for our people, man, you know, especially in the times of Jacob's trouble when they get to that climax, man, when all hell break loose for real, for real. Hmm. This is Psalms 115 and 4. And it's just a precept, all right? It says their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands, all right? You know, so our people are, you know, cherishing they, these riches of this world, not knowing that the, the, the real riches the real riches are the Lord's treasure, all right? Just knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you know what I'm saying, which, just, which will make you stable in these upcoming times, man, all right? Because when that dollar collapse, when it's money collapse, all right? When you miss nothing, when you don't have anything to spend or to buy or to sell, all right, what you're gonna do, all right? But those who have that that true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord is gonna be stable. You're not gonna have a, a care, all right, for what, what what what's gonna happen because they know what's gonna happen, man, and they're gonna trust in the Lord and they're gonna wait on them, all right. So verse verse twelve, all right, it says the Lord have been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel, man. Come, on, man. So hey, the, Lord, the Lord is gonna bless those that fear Him. All right, those that keep His knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All right, those that fear Him, the ones that seek Him early. All right. So this is what the Lord have been mindful of us, and He will bless us. All right, He's gonna bless His righteous. All right, His righteous seed, man, and they're gonna flourish, man. Hey man, because hey, it's it's definitely a lot of things happening right now. We're in the time of World War Three. We're in the time of uh, civil wars. We're in the time of a a lot of prophecies and plagues that's being released upon the earth, man. So if you can't take heed and be mindful of what the Lord is saying, all right, then all these things are gonna come upon you, all right, and it's gonna be a treacherous time, man. All right, Second Ezra sixteen to eighteen says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings. The beginning of famine, a famine, and great death. The beginning of wars, and the power of shall stand it in fear. The beginning of evils. It says, "What shall I do when the when these evils shall come?" All right. So what what you gonna do? All right. Who you gonna turn to? All right. Because if you don't turn to them now, you're not gonna be able. To, you're not gonna be able to turn to them then. All right. So. Verse 19 said, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All right. All right. But verse 20 says, but, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges, man. So our people even still not going to be turning from their wickedness, man, after seeing all these this great death and this great pain and sorrows and you know, not having nothing to eat or not being able to provide for your, your family like you're supposed to. You know, it's going to be a great tumult of pain, all right, for two-thirds of our people that, that doesn't want to hearken up to the Lord, man. You know, it says, for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be mindful of these scourges, man. And the, the scripture says the scourges are for a minute, man. You know, so it's going to be... A treacherous time for our people, man. So, hey, as the the men of the Lord and and Yahweh, what Yahweh has been saying, man, turn back and return them to that good old path, man. 
all right, where it's good, man, because a hey, nothing outside of your how about from your shot, you're not gonna be able to flourish. You're not gonna be able to stand, all right. So it's best to be rooted, all right, on that foundation. To be rooted with your how shot, all right, because hey, man, these times is not no joke, boy. All right. So with that being said, I wanna say a shout out one.